and we're going to make it drive like a proper Dodge with an electromechanical shifting system known as the ERUP. So Dodge is really making a multi-speed electromechanical transmission for an EV. There's a few reasons why they may have done this, so let's talk about it. Welcome back to the Engineering Perspective channel. If you like this content, please hit that like button. The Dodge Charger Daytona is beautiful, and I am really impressed with the styling. The two-door hatchback is a really great option, but that fake engine noise, really? I guess they need to add an external speaker by law anyways, but they kind of took it to the limits. Anyhow, back to this transmission that they call the Erupt. There's a few reasons why they may have chosen to go through this effort of adding a transmission, but I don't think we're going to see too many transmissions in the EV world in the future. So this will be an interesting test case to see how they actually use this. Here are the three reasons they may have chosen to implement a transmission. The first reason is fun and nostalgia. This is the simplest reason and appears to be what the marketing material is saying. This would mean that it offers no real performance benefit, just allows the feeling of a transmission. The same reason they may have added the fake engine speaker. Automakers are likely turning to the experience rather than the actual performance of the vehicle. The future performance vehicles could further rely on artificial supplements to add to the driving experience. Internal combustion engines have already been doing this for a number of years by adding things like artificial engine noise through the speakers. Another reason may be related to vehicle range. The mainstream automakers really know how to extract every mile per gallon out of internal combustion engines, and they may have utilized some of that expertise to squeeze a few more miles of range out of this vehicle through their tried and true mechanical means. Motor disconnects are a key way some automakers are adding range, and I highly doubt adding a multi-speed transmission would add much range over a simple motor disconnect. And finally, another reason is tied to performance. This makes it a little bit more concerning aspect, and the Dodge motor could be less capable than the Tesla Plaid motor. Transmissions are only utilized if the performance range of the motor doesn't match the tractive force needs of the vehicle. Internal combustion engines inherently have less speed and torque range than the needs of the vehicle, so a transmission is used. For example, with internal combustion engines, you need first gear to get enough torque for acceleration, but you need the higher gears so the vehicle can reach your desired speed. Electric motors typically get a lot closer to meeting the vehicle's needs with a single gear. However, if you're looking for high performance, the electric motors deliver very fast transient response and great low end torque, but the power falls off at high speed. To keep the motor within its power band, some companies like Porsche and now Dodge have chosen to use a multi-speed transmission. If you'd like a deep dive on this topic, check out my other video titled Transmissions Obsolete. What reasons do you think Dodge chose to go through the effort of adding transmissions? I personally enjoy the uninterrupted torque of a fixed ratio EV, but would you like the feeling of shifting gears?